Ujung kaki wangku si tapungu kiwa kitu kuni laza kwenye marcha ni ma bichi onyongoza kwa maji matulivu Bwana ni chungaji wangu Sitapungu kiwa kitu Unilaza kwenye majani mabichi Unyongoza kwa maji matulivu Bwana ni mchungaji wangu Sitapungu kiwa kitu Unilaza kwenye majani mabichi Unyongoza kwa maji matulivu Hakika we manas ufadili Zita nifu hata mimi Nitaka nyumbani mwabana Siku zote za maisha yangu Hakika we manazo fadhili Zita nifu hata mimi Nitaka nyumbani mwabana Siku zote za maisha yangu Hakika we manazo fadhili Zita nifu hata mimi Nitaka nyumbani mwabana Siku zote za maisha yangu Hakika we manazo fadhili Zita ni wata mimi Nitaka nyumani mwapa za maisha yangu Hakika we manazo fadhili Zita nifu hata mimi Nitaka nyumbani mwapana Siku zote za maisha yangu Hakika we manazo fadhili Zita ni fuhata mimi Nitaka Nyumbani mwabana Siku zote za maisha yangu Nitaka nyumbani mwabana Siku zote 
bersama Isha yang ku
Mwana siku zote Siku zote Mini fana nena we Nitukuze Milele sifa zako Nishi milele Hata nyumbani wako Taishi milele Nyumbani wako Mchungaji wangu Na mimi nikono wako Hivyo nilisho penda Vyo kwa matari Mwabichi Mbali mimi kukwa ndama Taishi milele Nyumbani mwako Mchungaji wangu na mimi nikondo wako Hivyo nilisha penda Vyo kwa majani mabichi Mime kumbali mimi kukwa ndama Taishi milele Nyumbani mwako Mchungaji wangu na mimi nikondo wako Hivyo nilisha penda vyo kwa majali mabichi Nime kumbali, nime kukwandama Nikwandame, ewa na siku zote Siku zote, mini farane na we Nitukuze, milele sifa zako Nishi milele, hata nyumbani wako Nikwandame, ewa na siku zote Siku zote, mini farane na we Nitukuze, milele sifa zako Nishi milele, hata nyumbani wako Nikwandame, ewa na siku zote Siku zote, mini farane na we Nitukuze, milele sifa zako Nishi milele, hata nyumbani wako I greet you all in Jesus' name. Amen. God is good and all the time. The song we sang, What a Friend We Have in Jesus. Let me give you a background about that song. The writer was about to get married two days before the wedding, the wife died. And then he decided, let me change the country. When he changed the country, when he went to Australia, he found a new love there. After he got married, before a period of month, the wife died again. Then he received a letter from his mother, his mother saying, come back home, son. I am sick and I miss you. And then at the back of the letter, he writes, oh, mama, what a friend we have in Jesus. When, difficult, when he was going through difficult times, he still managed to see Jesus as a friend. I don't know what you are going through, but allow me to present this friend. His name is called Jesus. We are reading together from the book of Acts chapter 16. I'm going to make use of verse 25 up until 27. Uh, it's Acts chapter 16. I'm going to start from uh, verse 25. The chapter, it's the big bold number, and the verse is the small menu with number. It reads, but about midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns of praise to God. And the prisoners were listening to them. 26, and suddenly there came a great earthquake, so that the foundation of the prison, prison house were shaken, and immediately all the doors were opened, and everyone's chains were unfastened. And when the jailer had tw 27, and when the jailer had been roused out of sleep and had seen the prison doors open, he drew his sword and was about to kill himself, supposing that the prisoners had escaped. I'm tempted to read verse 28. But Paul cried out, but Paul cried out with a loud voice, saying, Do not harm yourself, for we are all here. God always adds a blessing to the reading of his word. Amen. Let us close our eyes. We are praying. Father, we have read from the book of Acts. Please speak to us. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Now, the book of, of, of Acts, it's, 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 a, it's a part two of the book of Luke. The author of the book of Acts is Dr. Luke, the one who wrote the book of Luke. Now, this, this, this book, it's called the Acts of the Apostles. 
But according to the researches, it's not the acts of the apostles, but it is the acts of the Holy Spirit using the apostles. If you would say this book, it's the book of, of or, or it's the acts of the apostle, you have made a biggest mistake. It is the act of the Holy Spirit using apostles. The thing, the sad thing about the book of Acts, it's when, 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 when Luke writes the book, he doesn't finish it. He writes, then he leaves it. The reason why he doesn't finish it, it is because the other chapters that are coming, it's my chapter and it's your chapter. To tell of how the Holy Spirit has used us in the ministry of God. Are we still, are we still together since? Now from the book of Acts chapter 16, we find an interesting thing. Paul and Silas, they were having an everyday routine of going to worship the God. When they were on their way to worship the Lord, we find that there was a young girl who was demon-possessed. Then the, the, the young girl kept on saying, these are the, the servants of the Most High God. And Paul says to, to, the, to the young lady, because she was possessed, she says, come out of her. Then for what they did, now they are taken to prison. Now they are arrested. They are arrested because of praying. Are we still together? When they, when, when then they, they are taken, then the, the, the judge or the magistrate says, let them be beaten. They are beaten, they are beaten. After they are beaten, they are thrown in, in, in jail. The interesting thing is when they get to jail, the, their appointment, it doesn't change. But they continue with the agenda of the day. Regardless of the situation, they still worship and sing songs to praise God in prison. What I'm trying to say to you this, mo this evening is, the situation you go through, don't allow them to change your everyday routine of worship. Their destination was to go to church, but because of what has happened, their destination has led them to prison. But though they are in prison, the aim of what they were going to do, it does not change, but it continues. I don't know what situation you'll find yourself this evening, but allow me to tell you of this God who says to you, though the situation may be tough, continue to worship me. Now they are, they are in prison now. They are singing songs. They are singing songs, praising God, worshiping God. Then from, from verse 25, we find an interesting thing. From verse 25, the, 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 the verse starts with the word but. For, for, for English uh, majors, they will tell that the, the word but is it's what is a conjunction. A conjunction, it changes, the first, it changes the first statement. Are we still together? If the first statement was saying, Kennedy is ugly, then we can have a conjunction. Conjunction is justifying that Kennedy is ugly. For example, Kennedy is ugly, but how he dresses, he looks good. Are we still together? Now, now we find a conjunction that the, from, from the first verses, it's a sad story for us. We are heard about Paul and Silas who are beaten. But when we reach verse 25, we find a conjunction that now it changes the story. It says, but midnight, meaning that things started to change during midnight. I'm tempted to go to Greek. From, from the Greek, it's, it's teka, it's teka, the to, menu, menu senton. It is the same scenario whereby I'm watching TV in your place. When I'm watching TV in your place, then you come and then you take a remote, then you change the channel. You watch what you want to watch because it's your TV. Now, when things were going bad for Paul and Silas, God came and took the remote control and God changed the situation. I present God to you who's able to change situation that you are going through. He has a remote of life. Just when people were enjoying watching Paul and Silas in prison, this God comes and he changes the channel to his favor. But midnight, they came a great earthquake. The great earthquake 
did not come because, because Paul and Silas, the melody was good, but the earthquake came because God was joining Paul and Silas in prison. You guys did not get that. Let me repeat it. The earthquake was not because the melody was good. The earthquake, it was because God joined Paul and Silas in prison to worship together with them. When God came, the Bible says there was a great earthquake. Then the, 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 the doors of, the, of jail were open and the chains were loosened. What I'm saying to you this evening is this. Though when God comes in your situation, when you worship God, when you praise God, when God comes, wherever prison you find yourself in, the earthquake will come. You might be going through the jail of finance. Maybe your relationship is not going so well. It's your prison. Maybe educationally or academically so, you're not doing well. It's your prison. I present God to you. When he comes, that he comes with the great earthquake, the foundation of the problem starts to shake. The story continues. And when the story continues... It says the doors of the prison opened and the chains were loosened. The, the thing is this about this thing. When, 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 when the doors of prison were opened, it's not only a prison of Paul and Silas that was opened, but all the doors of prison were opened. And those who were chained, all of them, the chains become loose. What I'm trying to say is this. Sometimes we benefit from the faith of others. Sometimes we are here, but we are surviving because of the worship that our parents are giving to God. We are seated here. We are doing nothing. We don't have a relationship with God, but things go well with us. It is because we benefit from the relationship that our parents, our friends, our classmates have with God. Now, when, when, if, if I would get arrested, let me be honest with you, if I would get arrested, the first thing I'll do when I get in prison, I will think of an idea how to escape. Let me be honest. I'll think of an idea. I'll even check the key number. It's DH4. It means I'll have to get a key DH4 to escape. Now, when Paul and Silas were worshipping, doors were open. Prisoners who wished to go out, they no longer have a desire to go out. But they have a desire to join Paul and Silas and God. Because freedom is not freedom without God. One writer says, I'd rather be with an angry God than be with a happy man. What I'm saying to you is this. When doors were open, when they had freedom to go, they decided not to go. Because freedom to them, it doesn't matter. But what matters is they want to stay with God of Paul and Silas. When doors were open, Paul and Silas, they don't leave the prison. The reason why it is because the reason for them to worship was not for their freedom. But for them, for, for the reason why they, they stay, it is because worshiping God, it's what God has done in the past, not what God will do for you. Because of the past experience they have with God, even when doors of prison are open, they don't desire to go out because they enjoy being in the presence of God. When you are in the presence of God, you end up sometimes forgetting your own problems. Now, I'm presenting this God to you who's able to open or open a prison doors for you. I don't know what you are going through. Maybe you are in prison of finance. Maybe you are in prison of a relationship. Maybe you are in prison. Things are not okay at home. Parents are fighting like cat and dog. Maybe you are in prison whereby you and your friends, there is no longer a friendship anymore. I presented this God and I'm telling you this. This God will come one day and the earthquake will come. And whatever that has closed your doors, it will, they will become opened. And we shall be with God.
Let me say this as I conclude. There was a young boy who always wanted to visit his father. Then his father says to him, you know what, son? When school closes, when the semester is finishing, wait for me in the old harbor. When the semester got finished, the young man went with his friend, and his friends were going to a new harbor, and he was going to an old harbor. His friend said to him, Tom, why are you going to the old harbor? Old harbor, it doesn't have fun anymore. Join us in the new harbor. There are a lot of girls in the new harbor. There are a lot of fun in the new harbor. There are DJs in the new harbor. Join us. Don't be a boring person. Leave the old harbor. A young man said to them, my father said, I should wait for him in the old harbor. Then it started to rain. They called him again. Tom, it's raining. Come to the new harbor. He said, my father said, I should remain in the old harbor. Then it happened that a boy saw the she his father's ship from a distance. A son shouted and told them that, here is my father's ship. He's coming the direction of an old harbor. What I'm trying to say to you is this. Life may take you through trials and tribulation. People might tell you that Christianity is boring. People might tell you that being with God, there is no fun. But God said to you, wait for me in the old harbor. Wait for me in this old faith. God one day shall come. The Bible says the trumpet of the Lord shall, shall sound. And all the eyes will see him. What I'm trying to say to us is, let us stay in the old harbor. Jesus is coming. Amen. Our Lord, our Father, our King, our Creator. Father, we are in prison. But though we are in prison, we want to say, God, you are still good. Because your goodness, it has nothing to do with our life situation. You were not voted to be God. You were not elected to be God. But rather, God, you chose us to be your children. Though, Father, we go through trials and tribulation, we call upon your name and we say, Dear Lord, remember us, dear Lord, in the prison that we find ourselves in. Visit us and come and join us in our prison. We don't want to go out of these prisons, but it is better to be with you in these prisons because we know with you everything is possible. I pray this not because I am worthy, but because you promised to make it possible when we ask in Jesus' name. Let everyone say amen.